Hey, John from Superbase here, and today I want to take you through six awesome new tools in Superbase Studio. Maybe we'll even do an extra special one at the end. There's just too many cool things I want to show off, so let's get into it. Number one, Clippy, our new AI assistant, is now embedded in the dashboard itself. This means you can ask it questions like, how do I create a table for posts and a related table for authors, and get those answers without ever leaving your project. So we can copy this SQL snippet and go over to the SQL editor, create a new query and paste that in here. And when we run it, we've now got a table for posts and a table for authors. And we did it all in SQL without knowing any SQL. And look, I'm a DBA now. Number two, foreign key lookup. So now when we're creating a new post, we can now click here to select a record from the authors table. So I'm gonna say this one was written by me and we'll see it's automatically set the value to my author ID. We can also update the author for an existing post by clicking here and selecting another author. Number three, cascade deletes. These were always possible through SQL, but now we can do it through the beautiful Superbase UI. So we can edit our foreign key relationship and down here we can select an action for when our post is removed. So in this case, we wanna say cascade, which means deleting a record record from our authors table will also delete any records that reference it in the post table. So now if we go over to the authors table and delete SuperDrew, it will automatically delete all of their posts. Whoops! Number four, table definitions. By toggling data to definition, we can now see the statement that would be required to recreate this table. This is a great way to copy the structure of a table to another project, but also just to learn a little bit more about SQL that you might not know. Number five, calling edge functions with database webhooks. Database webhooks are a way to send a request to a URL anytime data in the database changes. So if we insert, update, or delete a row. So let's create a new webhook that's going to notify subscribers. The table we want to listen to is posts and the event we want is insert. So we want this to run anytime a new post is inserted. Now, previously we would only have an option for HTTP request, but now we can choose Superbase edge functions and see a list of all of the the different edge functions that are in our Superbase project. So I've got this one to send an email. And so now if I create this webhook and then go back over to our posts table and create a new post, if we go and look at our edge functions for send email and click on invocations, we'll see we received that request for our new post. Number six, graphical. You might not know this, but there's an entire GraphQL server with type definitions and resolvers all being automatically generated for you as you change the structure of your Superbase instance. So under API docs, we now have this graphical option, which is a full implementation of graphical running within your project's dashboard. And so we can introspect our schema and use the very helpful auto suggestions to quickly build up our queries and mutations. Sick. And as promised, an extra one just for the people who stuck around. If you did stick around, go ahead and click that subscribe button. You obviously like these kinds of videos. Okay, last one, our new JSON editor. Not an editor called JSON. We should get an editor called JSON. Our new editor for JSON and JSON B columns. If we had a JSON B column for all of these stats for a particular post, we can see that editing this inline is a bit of a nightmare. And anytime we press enter, it writes that incomplete value to the column instead of giving us a new line. This can be improved. And now it has. We can click this little button here to expand the editor. And now we have a much nicer space to work with. And now we can freely press enter to nicely format our JSON blob. And when we save, it will write that value to the column and it doesn't really look that pretty anymore. But if we open it back up again, it automatically formats it so we can keep editing it with ease. And that's seven new tools you can use to speed up your development with Superbase. Check out the blog linked in the description to see the full list of updates to Superbase Studio. But until next time, keep building cool stuff.